Welcome back. We're joined now with Noreen Holtine from Friendship Force International. Noreen, thanks so much for being with us tonight. It's a pleasure. Will you tell us about Friendship Force International and, and your involvement in it? Well, actually, I am the, the uh, president-elect of Friendship Force of Southern Oregon. And Friendship Force of Southern Oregon is one of many thousands of members of Friendship Force International. Friendship Force International was conceived in the 1970s as an opportunity for people to work for peace in a meaningful way. It was organized in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's still headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia, and they organized the various exchanges, which are not real exchanges, because we could have somebody come to visit us from Germany on the same year that we go to Egypt. So it's not an exact exchange of person to person, but the whole objective of Friendship Force International is to make friends one person at a time. And you actually invite them into your home? Oh, they stay with us and they live our lives. All right. And how long do they stay? Usually it's no more than a week. And in one week we have a very busy program for them to introduce them to Southern Oregon. And when we go elsewhere, they do exactly the same thing. And where have you gone in and who have you hosted? I have to check my cheat sheet. All right. <laughs> I have been to New Zealand, Egypt, Turkey, Morocco, Ukraine, Costa Rica, and Kentucky. Wow. Because it's not just international. We also recognize that there are differences from state to state. Right. And we find when we get there that people are just like us. And you've hosted people as well? We've hosted people from the Carolinas, from Egypt, from uh, England. That was my very first one, which was lucky because I kind of know how it is in England. <laughs> and yes. we've, we've, we've had people from all over the world too. And they come and they stay with us for the week and we introduce them. We take them to Crater Lake, we take them to the beach, we take them to the Redwoods, which is always a great marvel for people from elsewhere. Right. And we have parties and we have serious conversations. And show them how life is here. Yes. For you on a normal basis. Yeah, on a, we have guests basis. On They're not full of that. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Stay with us. We'll be back with more right after the break. Welcome back. We are joined tonight with Noreen Holtine, and she's been telling us all about Friendship Force International. And tell us, how do you select the person that you're going to host? Do you have a choice? Uh, not exactly. People sign up, in the, like the incoming, next incoming group is from the greater Detroit area. And 16 people applied to come on the trip, and we had to find 16 beds. And each of them sends us a little information about themselves. And we try to place people in accordance with the host so that they will feel that there is something in common. But of course, we all have one thing in common to start with, and that is to promote peace yeah. and to make friends. And it, is it safe? I'm sure people are wondering about bringing somebody, you know, a stranger, so to speak, into their home. Well, let me tell you, in all the places that we have been, I have never felt in the least that I'm in any danger. Okay. In Morocco, we slept on the floor, on a, on, a piece, on a blanket, with the most wonderful people you could possibly imagine, and they were so excited to have us staying there, they brought all their family to meet us. All right, we're almost out of time, but can you tell us, are there any dues and what sort of expenses are involved? I would suggest that people want to know more, they should visit our website, which has links to international and it talks about our local site. And the address is www.ffsoregon.org. Okay. But again, are there dues to belong to there this? There are dues, but it's not much. It's not like, much. if I remember correctly, it's about $45 for single and $100 for two, or maybe I'm a bit off, but it's somewhere around there. All right. And if you had to sum up your experience with Friendship Force International, how would you sum it up? Oh, we've been members for 10 years, and it has been an amazing experience. We have personal friends now in Egypt, personal friends in New Zealand, personal friends in Turkey with whom we keep maintain conversation. And in these times, it's really useful to see how they see the world situation. Sounds like a great way to see the world and to meet people. It's the meeting people that's most important. All right. Noreen Holtine with Friendship Force International. Thanks so much for being Thank with us you. tonight. We appreciate your time. And stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.